Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the Extend tool. So as the name suggests, the Extend tool allows you to either extend or shorten uh, either surfaces or curves. So there are a couple of, uh, this is also one of the most widely, most often used tools in Alias. And let me just show you how it works. So let's say you want to create an outline of this canvas image right here. So I'll just go to curves, edit point curves, and I'll just quickly outline the car, something like this. And maybe add a little bit of curvature here. I'll just use stretch to modify just a little. like that maybe a little bit more but now you'll see that the curves are a little bit extended beyond um, beyond each other and let's say you want to make them clean you can use the extend tool in order to snap uh basically clean clean the curves up and lengthen it or shorten it in this case so that the uh, the end of the C V end of the curve is touching each other. So in order to do this, all you have to do is just click extend under object edit, and I'm just going to click on this side, and you'll see that this white um, arrow is uh, displayed. So you can either click and drag like this in order to shorten, or you can click and drag to the other side to lengthen it. Now, in order to make it uh, make snap it exactly to the intersection of these two curves all you have to do is you're going to do a curve snap by pressing ctrl alt and you're going to press the left mouse button on the other curve like this so you'll see that now it's snapped like that so i'm going to do the other side too now because of this is already two length it's been shortened right uh, at the intersection, you can either either use uh, the curve um, curve snap by pressing Ctrl and Alt like this, or you can also use CV snap so by pressing Ctrl and clicking just like that. So let me do some of the other sides too. So you can shorten it like this, and you can also do this Let me just do that I'm just going to lengthen it so that they are intersecting exactly where the curves meet each other and like this you can use the extend tool in order to clean up the curves a little bit and uh, ensure that the end of the CV or end of the curve is meeting uh, touching each other like that. Now, you, uh, besides curves, you can also extend uh, surfaces. So let me just hide these curves in a different layer, like that. So I right now I have a roof piece that I want to maybe put a fillet on it or see how the intersection uh, intersection meets. So what I can do is I can use the extend tool like this. Here to uh, extend the surfaces and see how the two surfaces meet each other. Now, because uh, and you can use either surf uh, go under surface edit. You can use intersect and you can trim, or you can also put a fillet on this surface. So I'll, let me just go to surface fillet and I'll say G two. And maybe a hundred, and I can put a fillet between the two, like that. And also, let's say, let's create a hypothetical scenario where you think the surfaces are way too long. Let's say your surfaces are doing this, something like this. You can also shorten it back to the original intersection like this and you can also because of these uh, surfaces were actually created from the same curve I can actually make um, 
extend them back so that they're touching each other exactly at their intersection point. So in order to do this, you can also use the curb snap tool. So uh, curb snap, so control alt. I'm just gonna touch this edge, this surf surface edge right here. And just snap it like this and same thing over here. And you just use press, press and hold control and alt, and left mouse button to snap it and lengthen them to exactly where they were before. All right, that's the extent tool. And that concludes this lesson and thank you guys for watching.